Hey there guys, uh, this is Nova, part of the Nova Nation team on YouTube. I'm here today to show you how simple and easy it is to use the tool EVEMON, uh, which has been specifically designed for EVE. Um, it's easy to set up and potential time saving that you can get with using it. Uh, it's crazy. You can fully plan out your training plan for your existing character or a new character that you're creating. You can even set up the new character in the EVEMON without having to actually create it on the EVE network. Um, so it's useful for brand new alts that you're wanting to plan. Uh, it's got features for everything. I'll show you some of the features after we've gone through the basic setup of it. Um, so I'll go through that now with you. You want to go once you've downloaded the software. We'll link in the YouTube uh, post the download link. You want to go and file, um, add API key, and then obviously it'll ask for your ID and your verification code. Uh, it tells you at the top of this link to click on. Um, but personally, I just use Google. And move that out of the way there. I just use Google and type in api.eveonline.com and then enter your username. Um, we've created an account specifically for this, which is Nova Nation Eve. So you log in, and then obviously, if you've already got API set up, you already know how to do this part, but this is how you set up your API. And you click and create a new one here. Uh, you type in your name, so I say Evemon, and then we select the character. But obviously, because I ain't created the actual character on this account, there isn't any. So you just set it to all anyway uh, to pull all the characters. So if you've got like three characters on one account, you can pull them all at the same time. You want to make sure that you tick no expiry. Obviously, you can't select the corporation or the characters. But um, basic rundown is a character will allow you to pull the character. Details such as the skill trainings, um, any current ISK values, any assets. Um, then the corporation allows you to obviously pull corporate assets and descriptions and transaction logs, which we'll go into another video. Um, but this is basically to be selecting character. You can ignore the verification code, the access mask, it's all irrelevant. As long as you've ticked this no expiry here, um, you want to set it. If it's your own API that you're using, you can tick the all boxes on everything. Um, but obviously read through this and look up online to see what they actually give people access to if you're going to be handing out the API key to anyone else obviously you need to make sure what you're actually giving them access to um, so we've created that now, just drag this out of the way so what we want to do is go to the bottom here, click submit this will generate a page here so we want the key ID which we'll copy and we'll paste into this and then we want to go back on to the browser and we want the verification code which is here so we'll copy and paste this into this we'll press next this would fetch the data this account's obviously a wide API uh, there's no characters for it to import um, just on the process of this it would normally show the character names here uh, so we'll click the import process right one of the first things that you can do in this software is you can do a plan but because I've got no characters I can't actually go into a massive detail on that but basically create a new plan or you can import a plan from file if someone else has created the plan for you. You can just import the file that they've output out of their software. Um, and basically, you go into your new plan. And you'll be able to create um, a skill training plan that basically takes your skills into consideration of what you've already got because it pulls from the API servers, obviously. Um, it'll give full access to the software to allow it to plan your training times based on if you put implants in, if you do a remap. But you can do all that within the software. Um, I'll go. I'll do another video at a later date that goes into full detail on how to do this. I'll set up a character for you to obviously view it on and how it's going to work. Um, but the main thing that you're going to use is the plans. Uh, as you can see in tools, there's obviously a lot of extra tools on it. There's implant groups. You've got your main options, your mineral worksheet, which is not very good. We generally use a zone that we create. Um, obviously, you can test APIs. When uh, there's characters loaded, this will show a big massive list. Of all the characters you've got linked on, so like if you're a corp C, you obviously you'd use this to check out corp members that are coming into your corp. But as a training person, uh, it's really worth using this just because of the amount of time that you can save because you can mess about with it and it'll optimize it to tell you when to put uh, remaps in or suggest what attributes to set on your remap so that you've got the best training time save, savings you know, like on what you're actually mining. 
uh, and what's your training, sorry? So, I mean, it's worth having a look at it. We'll obviously go into a more detailed view um, of the actual plans that you can set up on another video um, once the characters are all set up. But that's the basics of this. Uh, obviously, if you want to remove your API key after, if you give someone access to it and you don't want to have it, you can delete it. You can also obviously go on and update it. Uh, you can update it and check out this. The general thing that you would need for um, Evemon when you're using it just for skill sets is your character info. And then you want, if you can give them access to your mail generally when you're getting recruited, they'll ask for that. Um, wallet transactions and stuff are irrelevant. Um, your stand in it can be useful to have that in, but it's not necessary. Uh, but your character info is the main thing that you need to put on this. Your skill queue, your skill in training, and your character sheet. Then for uh, basically everything that you will need to use this software um, to an effective standard. Uh, as I said, I'll show you a, a more detailed view of this software. And this is basics on how to set it up. So thank you very much for watching. And this is Nova signing out. Thanks from the Nova Nation team. Goodbye. And happy evening. Fly safe. Whoa! <laughs>